Well, I'm a little conscious of the time because we've got to be able to eat and get ready for the actual opening, which hasn't happened yet. So uh, I'll try to be fast. Um, I want to start by pointing out a sculpture that I did 30 years ago that has never been exhibited. And that's this crusty thing, which, um, which I started putting together when I started studying Jung, because I, I wanted to have in my mind how all these things work together. And, and I really wanted it to not be like a machine, but like something you would drag out of the bottom of the ocean. So for me, this has been in the bottom of the ocean for 67 years. So it's all, you know, it's coming apart and it feels, you know, there are actual uh, pieces of stuff falling off it and, and things like that. And it's really rickety, it's very fragile, which is why I haven't exhibited it anywhere. The other reason I haven't exhibited it is because nobody understands uh, what we're talking about, which is depth psychology. You know, if I put this in the in the museum, people would just think it's a junk sculpture, and I just don't want to go that way, that place. So I ended up doing a map with the, all of the parts, or some of the parts, and you can look at that later. There's also a QR code that <laughs> if you stick your phone on this, it'll open up a, a video about kind of a video tour. Oh, but um, just to give you a sense of, of what it's about, there are things in the bottom, like this is the id, which is the, you know, the Freudian, kind of the reptilian brain. There's, um, this is the ego, and attached to the backside is the shadow. Oh. <laughs> um, the, this is the repressor. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sensor to make sure I don't say, oh, you're looking fat today, you know. <laughs> this is the persona, which is supposed to be really, um, really pristine, and it's, as you can see, it's just absolutely falling apart. Um, and it's got all these features that, oh, there's a gold ball down at the bottom that is that capital S self, which is kind of the hardest to get to, but it's sort of the most perfect element of this. And then some very weird things like, this is an archetype, and this is the archetype closet. <laughs> um, if you know about archetypes, they, you know, they're endless. So you can find, you know, there should be a thousand of them in there. And one really strange feature is that each one of them has a thread. There's a, bl there's a blue end at the top and a red end at the bottom, which, um, which signifies the the spiritual end and the somatic end. And each archetype has that. And this whole thing is the archetype loader. You can see there's a little crane. <laughs> and this guy fits on the end of the crane. And if I can get him on there. Um, and you know that as you move through your life, there are different archetypes that get loaded into this thing, which is the archetype gallery. And there's, there's two mirrored ball, uh, cylinders in here, with white mirrors and black mirrors. And the archetypes are arrayed around the, out, of the inside. And so you can't ever see them very clearly. Sometimes you see a white image, or sometimes you see a black image. And the, the idea is they're projected through this thing out into the world. And that's how we you know, understand what's going on. This is myth. It's just a rear view mirror. <laughs> and I looked for years for a detail that said things may appear right. closer. <laughs> things are closer than they may appear. <laughs> I could never find one. But um, here's a little invention of my own. But this is this is the way things work. This is the sleep valve. So when you go to sleep, that <laughs> valve opens. And the light comes on oh. in the dream closet. <laughs> so if you come over here and poke around in here, there's, there are these little elements of the dream closet that are just full of fantasy. <laughs> and there's, there's teeth, and there's snakes, and, and gold. There's a soldier. There's bones. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And then when you go 
when you wake up, the valve closes, the light goes off, you know, and you're back to consciousness. Anyway, it's full of junk like that. Uh, <laughs> awesome. And wow. Well, I started when I was like 35, so 34 years ago or something like that. And um, and I think it's still pretty accurate. I can do it. Yeah. Oh, very, yes. very amazing. Yeah. Night after day. So I'll, I'll <laughs> talk about a couple other things in here if you want to just follow me. It should be a sick of it. It's not a center. It's 